Hi, welcome to No Aim No Gain. In this video, I'm going to be discussing with you why cars are a waste of money, but what you can do so that it works in your favor. Cars are a depreciating asset, yes, we know that. If you bought a brand new car from a dealership for 32,000 pounds, then as soon as it uh, leaves the car showroom, automatically lost 7,000 pound. Believe it or not, I know it sounds really depressing. On top of that, you've got to maintain the vehicle um, and on a yearly basis, guess what's more bad news? The car's going to depreciate further 20% year on year. And in addition, or you're also going to be paying interest if you're taking finance out on the vehicle. In general, they do decline in value unless you purchase a vehicle that is actually a rare and immaculate a vehicle that's going to uh, appreciate it but you're not going to know that at the time of purchase for instance one of my relatives had a Japanese vehicle and he actually sold it at a loss but had he kept it um, for another seven years he would have actually made five times his money back but we didn't know that at the time but, and the problem is you, you, the cars that I do appreciate that are going to add value later on down the line can't drive these vehicles because you need to keep the vehicles in immaculate condition and that's the whole point of having a car is to drive it so that's not good to us is it I want to go into the numbers so let's just give you an example of how a vehicle depreciates so let's uh, give an example so say you purchase a Lamborghini Huracan Spider Performante uh, brand new for £245,000 um, you're looking to keep the vehicle for about four and a half years and you're roughly going to be do give or take about 6,000 miles per year on average. You may be doing more, you may be doing less. After about four and a half years, the value of the vehicle will be roughly about 170,000 pound. So you would have lost about 72, 73,000 pound over that four year period, including the interest charges if you've taken the finance out of the vehicle, maintaining the vehicle, even the tires that can be very expensive. Um, especially on the Lamborghini and don't forget insurance so on the balance sheets who's actually winning well you've got the car manufacturers the car hire company the insurance companies the leasing companies the car dealerships and any any other party associated such as the, uh, the car mechanics the body shops etc so how do you turn this from something that takes money out of your pocket to put something in your pocket by the way don't be put off from buying your dream cars but the things that you really need to consider so what are the solutions well the first thing that you can do is you can actually rent your car on a marketplace such as easy car club where you can earn up to 30 to 100 pound per day even higher car earn where you can earn up between 50 to 300 pounds however they do take a 30 percent commission and don't worry about um, uh, somebody crashing your vehicle because these uh, platforms all do provide insurance to cover the car while it's been driven another way they can earn money from your vehicle is if you have, if you're if you do long distance traveling and uh, there's actually an app called blah blah car i know it sounds a bit funny but basically how the app works is um, it's like a ride sharing app so for instance if you were traveling from Manchester to London um, anybody else that would be tra traveling from Manchester to London they could probably sh they can share the vehicle they can share a ride with you and basically what they'd be doing they'd be paying you so they'd be paying you you're going to go be traveling to London anyway so why not take uh, somebody on board and utilize the space now it's all safe and secure so you need that worry um, it's basically it's based it's based on a feedback rating so you understand uh, the profile of the person they're not just going to be some random stranger that's going to jump into your vehicle it's, the whole process is vetted so you're in uh, good hands another way is becoming an Amazon driver uh, with an Amazon driver you don't need to uh, own a van your vehicle itself uh, can be used you can make up to 12 to 15 pound an hour and finally a long-term strategy buying properties and then using the rental income to pay for the finance for your Lamborghini. So those are my tips today on how you can turn uh, something negative into a positive um, so, so you don't be put off from buying a vehicle. So these are things that you need to really need, need to be considered when you put your money down. Um, is it actually worth it? Because you need to be looking at the long term. If you 
act on board the solutions that I've advised you today, then it actually um, it minimizes uh, your actual loss. So I hope you've enjoyed this video today and I hope you've learned something to take on board. And if you really like this video today, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button, comment and share. And finally, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification because we will be putting out more content on a regular basis uh, covering topics that are actually going to add value, uh, not just something that's just going to waste your time. So thank you very much for watching and stay tuned.